In this video, we are going to see about Namur NE43 Analog Signal Standardization in Transmitters Namur is a body to represent the interests of the users of measurement and control technology in the chemical industry. Founded at Leverkusen in year 1949. Founded by such renowned experts in the field as Dr. Sturm, Bayer, Dr. Hengstenberg, BASF, and Dr. Winkler, Hulls. Purpose of NAMA Standardize the signal level of the failure information in the analog current signal. Possible to detect the instrument healthiness in control systems. Can repair or replace the instruments without shutting down the plant. Thus, it reduces the production loss. Before going into NAMA, let's see about standard analog output signal. During normal operation, transmitter analog output shall be between 4 to 20 mA. If the process input falls below lower range value of the transmitter, the analog output also reduces between 4 and 3.6 mA. If the process input exceeds lower range value, the analog output holds at 3.6 mA. Holding at these values warns the control unit of an out-of-range event. This out-of-range signal is referred to as signal saturation. If the process input value increases above the upper range value of transmitter, analog output signal also increases between 20 to 21.6 mA. If the process input exceeds upper range value, the analog output holds at 21.6 mA with a warning to control unit. This overrange signal is also referred to as signal saturation. The analog output lower limit and upper limit are factory set. These limits are user selectable within the parameter limits of the transmitter via the heart communicator. This function is available in heart 5 or heart 7. Hardware fault condition of a standard analog output transmitter. The analog output also has values designed to indicate a self-diagnosed hardware failure. Once a failure is determined, the analog output holds at less than or equal to 3.2 mA downscale burnout or greater than or equal to 21.6 mA upscale burnout. These two values are user selectable. Via a slide switch on the amplifier board. Now let's see about Namur and E43 analog output signal. During normal operation, transmitter analog output shall be between 4 to 20 mA.
If the process input falls below lower range value of the transmitter, the analog output also reduces between 4 and 3.8 mA. If the process input exceeds lower range value, the analog output holds at 3.8 mA. Holding at these values warns the control unit of an out of range event. This out of range signal is referred to as signal saturation. If the process input increases above upper range value of the transmitter, the analog output also increases between 20 and 20.5 mA. If the process input exceeds upper range value, the analog output holds at 20.5 mA. With a warning to control unit. This overrange signal is also referred to as signal saturation. The analog output lower limit and upper limit are factory set. These limits are set and cannot be changed. On hardware failure, the transmitter output changes between 3.6 and 3.8 mA. Or, between 20.5 and 22 mA. These high or low selection, is user selectable, through transmitter configuration. If the field wire is open, the transmitter output changes between 3.6 and 0 mA. If the field wire is short circuited, the transmitter output shall be greater than or equal to 22 mA. Benefits of NAMA We can clearly distinguish the following failure information based on predefined signal levels. Transmitter goes into saturation, due to the increase in process variable value beyond the transmitter calibrated range. When the transmitter becomes faulty, the wires are short circuited or is open circuit. Thanks for watching this video. For more videos like this, subscribe to Simple Science.